Hey guys, so today I will be filming my March spring break monthly TBR. Um, I do have two weeks off from school, so that's why you'll notice I do have a big pile of books to read, but most of them are graphic novels, so I can usually read those pretty quickly so I'm not worried, plus I do need to catch up on my Goodreads goal. So yeah, let's get right into the TBR. The first book is one that I'm currently reading, and that is These Broke of Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. I started reading this on my plane ride home and got about 50 pages in before just the idea of a plane crashing kind of got to my head and it freaked me out, so I had to stop reading it, but it is very good so far. Not a fan of the female main character, but hopefully there's a lot of development that goes on because this is a very popular book and it does have good ratings, so I have high hopes. Then, before we get into the graphic novels, I'm going to show you the three books that I plan on reading this week specifically for our hashtag a thon which is bench warmers, and what that basically means is books you have that have been sitting on your shelf forever. And I did film this TBR yesterday, and then not until later realized I forgot to mention the a thon books, like the great host that I am. So I will be totally active this week because I did miss last week due to school and exams and stuff, but I'm totally into it this time. So the first book that I want to read is I'm Not a Serial Killer by Dan Wells. Um, Keisha read this and it did take her a while to read it but she did enjoy it and my brother who doesn't even read read this and he read the whole series in just a few days. So I do have high hopes for this and I've had this on my shelf since my first Christmas book tubing so almost over two years and that's a problem. Then I have Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armantrout. Uh, this was given to me by Jolene for my birthday, not last year, but the year before when I saw her in DC. So I have had this for a very long time also, and it is a series that is very highly praised, but it's, it's supposed to be kind of cheesy, but I've also heard they're very quick reads, so that's why I picked this for the readathon. And then the last book that I hope to get to for a yearathon, but I think I want to read this month anyway, is Dark Eden by Patrick Carmen. Another one that Keisha got me wanting to read. Um, this one is about kids that, maybe not kids, but seven strangers that are stuck in this place and they have to like find a cure. So it kind of reminds me of the second Saw movie with some Criminal Minds stuff thrown in and that really intrigues me. So I have been dying to read this and I will link the book trailer down below because that's what got me hooked on it almost two years ago. So, need to get to this. Then we get into the graphic novels. I did pick up quite a few from the library and there is one that I own that I want to read. So the f one that I'm currently reading is Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. I just started reading this. I just read the introduction and I like how it is so far. It's a graphic novel that's kind of like horror themed and yeah. So I think this will be a quick, pretty quick read and this was very highly requested from the library, so I'm glad to finally have my hands on it. Then I have The Undertaking of Lily Chen by Danica Novgorodov, maybe? Sorry, I don't know much about what this one is, um, but the art is really nice and colorful, so I'm not sure. On the front it says, to find the perfect bride, he'll have to get his hands dirty, so. I don't know, but I like the cover because the skull and stuff, so I think it'll be good. Then I picked up Peanut by Anne Holiday and Paul Hope. Um, this is one that I've heard mixed reviews on. I know a few people that have read it, and it is about a girl that fakes, her, fakes having a peanut allergy, I believe, because I guess she thinks she needs to be interesting. And throughout the book, the main character is written like her shirt is colored in red. So I think that's really interesting. I don't usually see graphic novels done that way. It's usually all color and no color. So I'm excited to read this and very intrigued um, more from a psychological standpoint of why she would do that. So I'll probably pick this one up soon. Then a little duology of graphic novels I've been dying to read is Boxers and Saints by Jean Luen Yang. I've read two of his other works, um, American Born Chinese and Level Up which were both very good, so I've heard great things about these ones. I believe this one is first, and it is much thicker than this one. So yeah, I can't wait to read them. I don't know too much about them, and I kind of want to go into it blind, but yeah, I've heard rave reviews, so I can't wait. 
And then the last graphic novel that I got from the library is Nothing Can Possibly Go Wrong by Prudent Shen and Faith Erin Hicks. I read Friends with Boys by Faith Erin Hicks and I really really enjoyed it. So when I saw this one I had to pick it up. And I think this one is just kind of like about high school and I guess like real life situations or scenarios. I think I was trying to say both words at the same time. But yeah. And then the last graphic novel I want to read is one that I own, and that is Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley. I believe this one is about a girl who is a chef and something along those lines. Um, I've read the Scott Pilgrim series, or the first four books in that series, and I enjoyed them, but I think I enjoyed them more than that they were set in Toronto, and I'm in Toronto all the time, so it was like I knew the story, and I really enjoyed that aspect. But I did really want to get this one, so... When I went away for school, I was dying to read it, and I wish I had taken it with me. So now that I'm home, I just want to fly through it and hopefully enjoy it as much as everybody else has. Then I want to read Impulse by Ellen Hopkins. I think this one is about three teens and suicide, so that sounds like a topic that I will find very interesting. Um, in January, if you watched my wrap-up, you'll see that I read Burned by Ellen Hopkins, and I really, really, really enjoyed it. So I'm in the mood to pick up more of her novels. And then last, but certainly not least, is Welcome to the Dark House by Lori Feria Stolars. This is about a book that is written about a nightmare. And it kind of reminds me of Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street. Because I'll read you this little thing on the back. and says, In my hefty elf sack, your nightmares now keep. Better think twice before falling asleep. And the cover and everything just sounds so interesting and I'm looking for something dark and scary so I'm not, I don't have enough time to pick up a Stephen King book so I think this is going to be just as good. So yeah, those are the books that I want to read through the month of March but mostly focusing on these next two weeks. Let me know if you've read any of the books that I've talked about and what you thought down below or if there's any other graphic novels that I should read. I'm always looking for more. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye!